This next new feature gives the existing cross-section tool the ability to follow a survey line. I'm going to go ahead and introduce a survey line as you would normally. We're going to call it center line 1. And we're going to just pick a line here that our cross-section is going to follow. Introduce an arc into our line. And be sure to end that line. And now that we have our survey line for our vertical cross-section to follow, the next step is to go ahead and configure our vertical cross-section. Go ahead and click on that. As you can see, all of these settings are the same, except now you have the ability to select a line to include. Go ahead and select our line, and now you can see in the plan view, the line is highlighted and the cross-section is set to the beginning of the line. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our overall point cloud. And now, working our way down this activity pane, you should notice the rest of the settings should look familiar. I'm going to go ahead and bump up our move distance to 15 feet and start stepping the cross section forward. Again, you will see in our plan view that it is indeed stepping the cross section 15 feet forward, holding perpendicular to the line that we generated. Keeping in mind, you are still able to pick points and generate line work in this new feature as you step forward. As you can see, when we come up to an arc, it's going to hold the cord of the arc between the points.